their 100th anniversary of playing football as Larry Smith takes Troy up against an old friend, Jim Sweeney, and the Fresno State Bulldogs. Now, I've been told the last person out of Fresno did, in fact, turn out the lights. They call it the Red Wave. 25,000 have poured into Anaheim Stadium for this, the ninth Freedom Bowl. Temperature certainly won't be a problem tonight, 55 degrees. The wind won't be a problem either, but the fourth three is. Number 12, Trent Dilfer, a sophomore from Eptos, California. And what a tremendous, a bevy of offensive talent he has. Neil Rivers, the running back, Sebron, his best receiver, Titus Winans, and Marty Thompson. Question is, can this offensive line that played so well in the Western Athletic Conference, can they contain a packed-in defense, the likes of Southern California? Second down and 15. Dilfer with time, now releases. It is caught out of the 20. Third down and nine from the shotgun. Dilfer steps up, looking long, now shoots it to the near side. It is caught. Lorenzo Neal, the fullback, takes it out across the 30. Double wide outs to the top of your screen. Now the dog shifting to the eye. Dilfer in quarterback, first down, second man through. It's the Whoa. tailback, and oh, does he have running room? Rivers out across the... Wide to the right is Lee Harris. In the slot is Charlie Jones. Give to the right side. It is Ron River. Trent Dilfer, the sophomore at quarterback. There's the draw. It is Lorenzo Neal, and he's got it. Still on his feet, spins to the 40-yard line, a gain of eight. Wide to the left is Michael Jones, and the slot is Charlie Jones. Little counter to the 33-yard line. The slot, it is Michael Ross to the right. Play action. Dilbert looking for his tight end, sends it out to the right side. It is caught. Lorenzo Neal. Neal on a great move once he catches the football. He's the safety valve out in the flat. Dilfer looks downfield, there's nothing there. Now just dump it out in the flat and watch the move that Neal puts on. Plant, get back to the inside, then pick up that positive yardage. Lorenzo Neal, no net, six foot, 225 pounds, 85 of those. Looking for Tom. Just gets out there, throws the football, takes a little takes a little bump, they get into their flow, and they start forgetting about the fact that they're playing USC. Nick Surface, and there you see Surface. He is the right end. Zach Ricks, he's the nose guard, a senior. Started all four years, led the team in tackles with 125. The linebacking core, first time this year, Earl Oliver will be a linebacker. He is normally the left defensive end. And the secondary, it is keyed by Sam Watson and James... Creighton again, and he is grabbed at the line by Zach Ricks, the senior from Buckaville, California. I mean, we wouldn't even be playing them if they weren't a bowl game. We would never schedule them. Well, that just sort of capped off what has been really a couple of weeks of us, as I said a moment ago, what Fresno State thought was really a lack of uh, a lack of respect. Double wide outs to the top of the Bulldogs of Fresno State as the back shift into the power eye. It is to Ron Rivers. He is on his feet across the 25. Oh. Again, straight ahead, Lorenzo Neal. And he carries a Trojan out across the 29. The wideouts, Ross and Titus. Look at Lorenzo Neal. Oh, look at him go. Second down and four. The ball is at the 36. Fresno State in the eye. Now they'll shift out to the split back. to call that a cross buck. You get down there in the dirt in the trenches of the mud. Third down, draw. Lorenzo Neal has got a first down and a whole bunch more. Whoa, did he run right through a tackle? Is your prototypical fullback, six feet, 225 pounds. His center of gravity must be about 18 inches off the turf. Dilbert, look at that time. He can run it. And he's going to do it. Got a good block. He's at the 40. The SC 35 and down there. First down. Come on, Come on, man. That is Anthony Daigle. At the 19-yard line. And look at those fourth down numbers this year. Dilfer. It is cut. It's a first down at the 23-yard line. In the slot, Malcolm Sebron. Play action.
action. Dilfer putting it up. It is clotted out of bounds. Goes Malcolm Seabrook at the SC3. Different receivers. It is first down. There is that full house formation by the Bulldogs. The give goes to Anthony Dago and he has stopped short. And they come right back out in it again. There it is. There is the T-heavy formation. The give again straight ahead. Touchdown, Fresno State, Lorenzo Neal. yards I said a few moments ago you just had the feeling this Fresno State offense was taxiing into position this ball game looking for the screen Creighton's got it and oh is he hammered get the number of the truck a chant from the red wave is defense third and 11 from the shotgun Johnson coming to the near side Conway can't hold it the corner and gets near the first down marker. More confidence, Bill. Second down and a short one. That's Anthony. De first and ten at the 20-yard line. In motion, that's Daigle. Backward pass. Daigle picks his way across the 25 and picks up five. The Bulldogs come from the eye on second down and five. Straight ahead, Lorenzo Neal. And boy, look at him. He's still on his feet. He was hit at the line of scrimmage. And who? And all the Trojans start booing. And here he comes again, Lorenzo Neal. And then said, I love Fresno. I'm going back to the San Joaquin Valley. Dilfer to the near side. It is caught and out of bounds at the 42-yard line. First down. Fresno State, a huge advantage in total plays. Dilfer pumps once. Pressure coming from behind. He's going to run it again. And out of bounds, he goes. Wide to the left is Charlie Jones. Straight ahead. It's Lorenzo. I don't know of any other team in Division I that has the numbers that this offense has compiled. We'll tell you about it in a moment. And Rob Johnson at quarterback. The pitch will go to Astros Creighton. And he is going to be strung out demolished at the 15. Travis Hanna. Johnson looking to the near side. He unloads, throws into coverage, and it is incomplete at the 25. The hit by James Burton, and what a hit it was. The red wave is roaring from Fresno as the first half comes to an end. The Bulldogs have played the traditional team well. The Trojans of Southern California it is 7-7 seven seven at halftime. Wallace. And the right, Morton and Hanna. Great. Whoa, is he nailed? And it's James Burton on Rivers. He's got the football. Rivers dies to the 25. Twist at the 35. It's a first with 11.05 to play on the third period. Dilbert. He'll lay it up. It is caught by Titus Winans. Whoa, what a job he did keeping his feet inbound. And where is that bonded pass rush from Southern Cal? Non-existent tonight. Dilbert has been untouched. There's a draw. Lorenzo Neal. And look at him turn to the 32. yards away. His long is 44. It's got plenty of distance. Well, he got it. The Bulldogs have taken a lead. Not Trojans from the shotgun. Johnson flags are down. Johnson. Pocket collapses and Johnson collapses. 
surface, and Brad Bell finally got to good snap. And oh, he gets a good one. Take it at the 42.
have been intimidated. SC is a powerful team, a powerful team. Now, Fresno State 24, Southern Cal 7. We pause now for these messages from our local state in America that concluded their season against two arch rivals and lost them both in such difficult fashion. Well, they could have won both football games. Johnson looking down field and it is intercepted again. A flag is down, hold everything. Brian Porter's got it. The senior from Cerritos College says, I've got it. Interception, first down. But it will be Trent Dilford. He'll go down on an eight of this. The win tonight moves Jim Sweeney into a tie with Lou Holtz for most wins amongst active coaches. Paterno. He'll be awfully cold by the time he gets to the locker room. Dilber again down on a knee. That'll do it. Fresno State, they're going to go wild. The run wave is beside itself. Look at all the players run into the end zone. Jim Sweeney. He and Larry Smith, great friends. They meet in the center of the field. Jim Sweeney. Final score, Fresno State 24, Southern Cal 7. Back with some final comments in a moment. Of this ninth Freedom Bowl, our viewing player of the game is Jesse Hardwick of Fresno State. First team, all Western Athletic Conference, starting his 36th consecutive game, the only senior. The Red Wave, 25,000 strong, migrated to Southern California from Fresno, and what a huge reward, what a fail, like hitting the big jackpot at Las Vegas. The Bulldogs, 24, the Trojans, 7. Dave, some final comments. Well, Phil, the, the entire difference.